okay, now we'll do the O. So I'm gonna start below the cap line, come straight down, pull the pen out so it's a certain width, it's wide, come out and come down. So I am going to also do a lowercase O right next to it and you can see the difference. It's a much narrower, elongated letter form. So you can see the two, the difference between the two, between the capital that's wider. So now we we'll do a capital P. So the P start off the same way we have that serif with the first entry stroke, come straight down, drop below the baseline, and you have that, you ride the left edge of your corner of your nib, set your pen back into the stem stroke, pull your pen straight out so that you have a certain width, come down, stop before, before you hit the baseline, put your nib back on the left side of the first stem stroke, and bring your nib over to hit that corner and you have it touches right here at the corner and it's right at the baseline. So that first stroke is this, pull your pen down, pull your pen out to the right, So let's do that again. There we go. So there's the P. Now we'll do the Q. The Q is we're making an O again. So that's the way we start the stroke, the form. Pull it out to the right so that we get that width of the Q. Start off at the top like we're making an O. Go to the right, come straight down. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your nib and slide along that edge and then pull the pen out and to the right. So this stroke is like that and then you ride the right corner of the nib pulling it up. So we'll do that again. to the right, come straight down, and this time what I'm going to do is go along to the center and then just make a little diamond, an elongated diamond to it. Now we'll do the capital R. One thing you might notice is as I'm moving the paper, I'm also on a stack of other paper and it acts as a cushion to your writing and it makes the writing a much nicer experience and it makes you have better letter forms too as the pen nib hits the papers you're not hitting like a harsh tabletop or hard surface so on the capital R I'm start with the serif and straight down go to the right and then I have that little tick mark as I pull up my pen going to put my nib back at the top of the stem, slide to the right to make a triangle, make a diagonal with the whole width of your nib there on the edge of it, and then pull it straight out. And another alternative to that form is, I start off the same way, and then this time what we're going to do is we're going to put a diagonal down, Put the pen back into the top of that corner, put a diagonal, bring my pen over to the stem stroke, do a slight diagonal to the right, come straight down with that serif, exiting serif at the bottom. Now we have the S. There's several ways to make a capital S. Starting just below the cap line, I'm going to stop right there because now I'm going to put on two triangles like this. 
right next to each other. Then I'm going to take that one and right at that corner I'm going to come straight down, stop before I hit the baseline, bring my pen up to meet this right here, that line, so it lines up with there, and then I'm going to slide my pen down to meet that corner, like that. And then the top of that form, I'm going to take the left corner of the pen nib, and I'm going to meet it right at the top of there, and then pull it down and up. So that's one. We, we made a straight stroke here for the first one. This time we're going to curve it. And the same way, I'm not going to uh, start right touching the top. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there that you can see right there. And then this time I'm going to put a diamond attached. And then those strokes like that. Come straight down like that almost hit the bottom. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll line that up and then have that meet at the bottom like that as well. Do the same thing to the top. Have that stroke like that. So what this does is if these diamond shapes, I could actually make the letter form wider if I wanted to by just extending those diamonds out. Now we'll do this another S, but we'll have two curves in it. So here's the first curve at the top, done the same way. And you notice it's the same thing where we don't hit the cap line, we leave some space there. And then the bottom one, I'm going to set the nib so that it meets up with that one right there. And I'm going to make a curve to the left. And then right where I'm at, it's before I hit the bottom, this is lined up here so that it has some balance. Then I'm going to take my nib, and I can actually make an extended one like that for a more fanciful one. I could take the pen nib on the corner and extend that out, and the same thing to the top. So there are three S's. There's actually a whole lot more, but these are three really good S's that are nice to do. So now we'll do the T's. So I'm going to start off by using the corner of the left nib. I'm going to set the corner down, and then I pull the stroke across to make the top branch. And then to make the stem stroke, I'm going to set the nib into close to the center of that come straight down, and then go to the right, like that. So what that stroke is, is I set the pen nib down on its corner, on the corner, and then as I pull it up, then I set the pen nib down. So I'm on the corner, set the, so it's a rolling motion, and then, then I can go across, and then as I'm getting ready to stop, I'm lifting the pen, I'm lifting the left edge, and now I'm going over on the right corner of that pen. And then we'll start the second one is another way to do this. Setting the nib there, you can see it's slightly touching inside that branch. And then I'm going to pull it straight down, tilt it to the left, and come straight down like that. So that's a T. Now we'll do the U. Start off with the serif, put that on, come straight down, before you hit the bottom, move to the right, come up, I'm on the right corner of the nib, and then I'll do the same thing on the right side of the U. So it looks just like a lowercase u, except it's wider. The lowercase u, if I put that right next to it, you can see the difference, how much more narrow it is. So now we'll do the capital V. It's the same as the beginning of the u. 
I'm going to come up. It comes straight down. Except this time I'm not going to add this part of the U onto the V. So that's the V. And there's another alternative V. Come straight down. I'm going to curve it to the left slightly, move it to the right. I'm going to put my nib close to this to the right side of the stem stroke. I'm going to roll it to the right and then come straight down. So that's an alternate part that you can do to the V. Um, let me explain that. That stroke is writing the left corner of the nib. As I roll, I'm laying it down, pulling the stroke across, lifting the left part of the nib up, writing the right corner, and then coming straight down like that. So that's what this is. So now we'll do the W. So the W is a V twice, or a U. Serif. Let me move the paper into my writing area. So you notice what I did. I brought the stem stroke down with a diagonal, and when I came up, I have this little tick mark. And that way, when I bring the middle stroke down, it's going to meet that point. It gives me a place to aim for. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. And I'm going to lift that on the right. And that's it. That's a W. All right, now we have three letters to go. X, Y, Z. So we'll start with the X. Here we go. Start with the same entrance serif. Straight down. Before you hit the baseline, Move it to the right. You see I put a serif on the end of that. Go back into the top. Make that little mark to the right at the top. Go back into the stem stroke and pull the stroke out to the left. Add a crossbar, flatten the pen angle, and there's the X. So breaking that down, Come up to the top, go into the center, and I'm pulling it out to the left. Flattening the pen angle means going from this to that to make a thinner stroke for the X. And now for the Y. Entrance, serif, come straight down. Before you hit the baseline, I'm going to move to the right with a diagonal. And I'm going to make it wide enough so that it's a wide capital Y. At the top, and I'm going to go straight out to the left, to the right. So it looks just like the lowercase one. And then I'll do the alternate Y. So straight out. Diagonal. Straight down. When you go below the baseline, right up on the left tip of the nib, curve it to the left, and that's the alternate Y. And now the Z. For the Z, I'm going to start the same where I, where I start on the left corner of the nib. Set the whole pen down. Pull it to the right, slightly down, slide the entire pen to the left, go straight out, put a soft curve on that, drop below the baseline and stop, and then put this on the same way it is like a capital S. So do that again, 
start on the corner of the nib, pull the stroke to the right, see that it's slightly down, come straight out and move to the right, put a soft gentle curve on that, stop at the bottom, put your pen nib right up here at the top and curve that down to meet that join right there at that corner. And then you can put this bar across the bottom of the Z. And that's it, A to Z, simple black letter.